okay so in this video we will learn how we can create contact flow in Amazon connect so so let's first understand what is a contact flow okay so a contact flow defines how a customer experiences your contact center from start to finish at the most basic level contact flows enable you to customize your interactive voice response which is also known as IVR system and contacts are routed through your contact center based on the routing logic you define in your contact flows okay so in our contact flows we define the logic through which our uh, customers are routed so okay so a contact flow determines a series of interactions with the user contact flows can play or show prompts to the user get user inputs and behave differently depending on the conditions in a way contact flow are like simple programs written in a very constrained visual programming language so these are contact flow that we have to understand so one useful feature of contact flow is that you can transfer control to another contact flow right so we can move uh, our one uh, customer request to the other contact flow we can move that this allows you to design flows in separate pieces like a function or produce uh, in a programming language with Amazon contact flow uh, you can create dynamic dynamic personalized flows that interacts with the AWS services for example you can play prompts get customer input branch based on contact type invoke a lambda function or integrate an Amazon black spot okay so this is contact flow so how do I create a contact flow so I, I have already created some contact flow so just let me just show you how we can create contact flows okay so uh, let's just understand how we can create contact flow so in Amazon connect management console page uh, just go to contact flows so here we can create Amazon connect flows so as you can see that there are default contact flows already listed here so we can choose uh, anyone which you which is according to our requirements so but I have recently created a contact flow uh, chat contact flows so let's just first understand how I created that chat contact flows so uh, actually chat contact flow is a contact flow that will be a flow when our customer is interact with our uh, contact center and this is uh, related to chat when a customer is connect with our uh, uh, our contact center through chat like uh, we have enabled our chat interaction with customers in our website or any other source so customers can uh, interact with our contact center through chat too so here is the contact flow which i have created for chat so this is uh, entry point blocks so this is I'll start from entry point when our customer is interacting with our contact flow so from entry point first of all we uh, have to play some sound if it is a call and if it is a chat then we have to display a welcome message so just right click on it and show the details of this prompt uh, so in prompt I have just mentioned then welcome to one pv6 customer service so this will uh, this message will display when first customer interact with our contact center so this first message will display in his uh, chat window so the next prompt uh, the next uh, block which I have set here is set working queues because when our customer is interacting with our contact flow that first we have to define the queue like uh, to whom customer will interact so just double click on it uh, and you will see the details so here we have to set the queue for uh, to interact with the customer so i have just selected by clicking the uh, triangle little triangle here so you will find here uh, all the queues which you have been created so uh, i am just selecting customer service so in customer service uh, so us, uh, our customers will interact with the customer service through chat so just save it so this block uh, is a entry point where after playing at, uh, after sending us uh, some uh, welcome message to customer then uh, the customer will be redirected to the queue so the queue will be customer service so if uh, now now we have to identify uh, either our uh, agent is available or not so if success our customer our agent is available to interact with customer then we must have to uh, uh, check that is uh, he is 
uh, in the range of set uh, the odds we have mentioned like uh, check odds of operation we have to check odds that uh, for every every agent because we have also time of time of five to nine so we have to check also that is the customer interacting with our chat contact is he in the range of our set time so or not so just double click on it and you will see that uh, check cause of operation so we just uh, have to uh, uh, we just have to make this happen that uh, when customer interact with our customers do we have to check that is it in the odds which we have defined or not so if it is in the odds which we have defined like uh, we have defined uh, odds of operations for 9 to 5 so if is uh, so if customer is ch chatting with us in these odds 5 to 9 then he will be transferred to the queue so in queue you know there are agents so they will interact with the customers or if uh, he is out of the odds then it will be redirected to the prompt where we will say that uh, we are sorry our agents are busy okay so we can display this message uh, we are sorry our agents are only available monday to friday uh, monday to um, saturday or nine to five public time and please try again okay so this message can we display if uh, if a customer is contacted to our contact center after uh, the time which we have mentioned in hours of operation so uh, okay so if it is successful like our agent is available then it will be transferred to a uh, queue in queue you know there, there are some agents so if uh, if now here uh, when we transfer our customer to agent through queues so here are two options in this block because we have to try we have because this could happen that our capacity for our uh, agents will be uh, high capacity like uh, because when we when we have set agents in amazon connect it is uh, it is required that you can uh, one agent cannot uh, chat more than one five five customers uh, at one time one agent can only chat with five uh, for, can only chat with five people uh, or if uh, uh, agent is already chatting with five people then the six person will not be redirected to agents and all the agents are busy then uh, of course we have to check the capacity so to check the capacity if the capacity is over like our agent is busy he has no he has already occupied his capacity then we will display a prompt where we can say that we are sorry that at this moment all our agents are busy and our queue is uh, at capacity okay so we can display this message or if is some error occurs then we yes we have to display an error prompt so which i have mentioned here so for error prompt you can just uh, play a prompt uh, uh, we can use text to speech or chat text and here we can define that we are sorry and unexpected error happen so there this is the chat flow that uh, we will uh, our customer will be interacting with our uh, agent or agent or our contact center so at the end because if customer leaves then yes we have to disconnect and terminate that so then the next flow will be according to our agent right so this is the chat flow which i have created so this is very generic uh, we can customize it according to our needs so this is how our customer uh, interact with our uh, our contact center or through uh, chat contact flow right